wait for it wow my way but guys we got a special treat american made amazingness one two three four five reaper unbelievable guys my name is Alfred Montaner we're here at the Palm Beach Boat Show 2023 and who do we got here what's up guys we're gonna have to have a conversation before we start this video <laughs> I see a bump yeah I think I ate too much food oh you just had some lunch yeah I had like a little I think I was trying to sneak a watermelon into this Oh, okay, okay. I was wondering there's something going on here. I got Boats Daily. Ryan, Ryan, what's up, Boats Daily? <laughs> All right, guys. So listen up. We, we got Reaper 47. Two brand new Reapers. Oh, you Reapers. just gave away that there's another one over there. Yes, two brand new 47 Reapers. So we're going to get to see both of them. Yes. All right, so we got a, uh, you know, my favorite color is green, so... A lot of people really love this color. So. All right, let's go ahead and check let's out, go. guys. First of all, introduce yourself because maybe they don't know you yet. I am Anna Layton from Adrenaline Power Boats. Hold on a second. How are you doing the infusion now at, at, at work? Because, guys, she builds boats. She runs the infusion I've department. Been, I've still been building them. I've just been more careful about, about the chemicals that I'm using stuff like that i've been more reliant on my team just your, kind of, your team helps yeah my team helps me just kind of doing more coordinating more managing which is kind of what i needed to grow into anyway so it just pushed me into more of that, role. that that's awesome okay so we're on the 47 reaper guys and what have i been telling you to do what a what a sea trial right yes we're gonna do a sea trial are we gonna really really do a sea trial yes we want to do a sea trial because these boats run amazing guys Okay, so tell me about this particular boat. This boat has 2,250 horsepower, as you can see off the back of it. Um, we haven't done a speed run with this particular boat, but with that boat over there, we got 90 miles per hour out of it on a flat lake. We didn't have any chop, nothing. We got 90 miles per hour. So 90. 90. 90. 90. Nine zero. So oh we're my goodness. We have a little bit more chop. We're going to be able to get the number up a little bit. So a 47 foot boat going 90 miles an hour. Yes. That is absolutely insane. And okay, so because you know so much about the build process, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. Tell me about the carbon fiber because look at this, guys. So and a lot this of this is, what, is just visual stuff, but if you look, if you want to know beyond the, into the structure of the boat, it's 100% epoxy infused with tons of carbon fiber reinforcement all around the doors, the chine, the keel. When you're in the big rough water offshore, your boat's not shuddering and shaking and moving. It's very solid and it performs, guys. It's, it performs. And obviously the good old American made you know, I was wearing an adrenaline shirt the other day and yeah. two famous YouTubers called me a Karen because I told them to get off my lawn. <laughs> How dare them? We added these lights and they're the legs to kind of illuminate the cockpit. So what's cool about this is we do all this in-house. This is actually a piece of acrylic that we've machined out and placed RGBs into. So you can really see the detail in this boat. The color really makes it pop as well. We got all the visual carbon, our billet's black on this bit, which I'm a really big fan of. I really like that look. All of the storage in the back of the seats for your ladies with your purses. Wait, wait, open that up real quick again so you can you can cover and hide your stuff there. Oh, that's awesome. Oh, absolutely, and it's all open, so this is all one thing, so there's tons of room back Good, there. I can put my camera there when we're going 70, 90 miles an hour. You might, you might be able to hold on to it. Uh, the, the ride's not the ride's not super aggressive. It's not super aggressive and shuddery in here. I've so. seen your Instagram, Anna. Uh, Anna, it's it's wild. When you're in the back, seat, yes, you feel it. But yes. When you're behind this windshield, you don't. Okay, then, so tell me about the windshield because right now, look, I'm getting right here and I, I immediately feel this wind mm -hmm. from this Palm Beach boat show just go away. Yeah. We also have w actuating wind doors. Let me see, right here. You're gonna, what the? That's all down with the touch of a button on our screen, our screens right here. Let me pull it up on the big one. You guys can really see that. 
It works a lot with Garmin to develop the screen, so you're able to toggle through all of your lights, your docking lights, so your everything. Front lights, everything. And when they turn on, they turn on on the visualization here. So I open those wind doors like this. You know what? It's pretty cool. That's what we like. We like doing <laughs> stuff like that. Listen, listen, listen. Look at the law enforcement back there. And hey, you guys want a boat like this for your department? <laughs> it would be great, right? Wouldn't this be nice? Yeah, blue one? Take a donation. Yeah. Listen, we'll make it happen over here. I, I was just gonna mention how scared I'd be if I see something like this coming after me. <laughs> Wait for it, guys. Four out of the police over here, uh, Palm Beach police. All right. So, okay. So, obviously, aggressive lines. Yeah. Your dad designed this boat. Yeah, and it, it, it's hundreds of pieces coming together. And once they come together, they're all very, they all tell one story. They're symbiotic. It looks great. It flows. Just even walking through here and seeing the way that the angles and the shapes are, it just really pulls you into the boat. Absolutely wild. Okay, let's go to the bow and then we're, we're going to show the cabin. All right, guys. So, okay. So, they're definitely going to get a different... Every, it, it feels, it feels like a whole different boat just because of the color. Yeah, it does. It, the colors really make it pop. We also changed this lounger as well. So our lounger stopped here last time, so we brought it over. Okay. A little bit more padding. So it's a little bit longer. Yeah, we've added, we've added a lot of lighting in the boat actually, more RGBs. Oh my God. So, so, so at night, so at really night lights up. Okay, so I already envisioned this. Florida po uh, Power Boat Club. Yeah, we need to. <laughs> and you guys are at a poker run. And then they're looking at this and this at night. I gotta, I gotta film this at night now, guys. Yeah, we gotta film it at night. Look, it, it really lights up. Look at these cleats and look at the finishes. Okay, so what part of this boat is carbon? So the whole entire hardtop configuration is carbon. The legs, the inner and outer pieces of the hardtop, they're even taped together with carbon. So what we've seen on a lot of other boats is when they get in rough water, their hardtop seems to shake. And yeah. shutter and move and we didn't want that in our boat so we really built it well with carbon and this freeboard is super super tall so yeah, like so we've had some of some of our customers you know they've kind of questioned us on this but once they're in the boat and they're driving and their family's in the boat they're like i see why you made these gunnels the height yes you did because yes you want that flare you want that height for when you're in big rough water well rough haul over five six seven oh, foot absolutely it it'll take it like it's nothing honestly because it's just built well it's tall and it's built for that we have a self bailing gutter system very deep self bailing gutter system in the bottom of the floor runs all the way to the back and through your storage compartment so if you in the event of you taking on any water it bails out fairly quickly. can you explain the infusion process so somebody that that wants to know that so you have basically a couple of ways of building boats these days. You can do wet lamination, you can do wet bagging, but we all know the superior way of building a boat is through the infusion process. And the infusion process is when you basically dry lay your laminate stack into your mold and you, you can design and engineer that laminate stack however you want to get the strength and the rigidity that, rigidity that you need. And then you basically put a bag over it and you compress it. And if you have good compression and a great vacuum, you have about 2,000 pounds of clamping pressure per square inch of your part. So tell me, do you think a laminate that is compressed and infused and epoxy shot into that laminate is stronger than a wet laminated uh, laminate sack? I would think so. And we're going to notice that when we're doing the oh, sea yeah, trial. you feel it. You really do feel it. Yeah, we're going to notice it's that, guys. strong, and our stringer systems are infused. We don't... The uh, wet bag or tab our stringer systems and everything's wrapped and infused into the whole system. Okay, so obviously you have another Garmin panel over here and you got some, I mean, I see speakers everywhere. So this thing must be loud for yeah. like partying, it's, right? It, it's these particular speakers are fusion. This boat is very loud. Our other Reaper has a uh, rocker Foz gates in them. Um, but as you can see, we built the speakers into the boat. So all of these are basically mold inserts that we put on our molds and we build the part with those plants in so the speaker fits perfectly into that 
section of the boat and it really gives you that flush look. Any storage in here or all this is a part of the actual? This doesn't have any storage, but all underneath here has storage. So you, you have- can see our hinges here. We make all these in-house as well. Yes, and if you guys don't know, Mike Layton is- He likes to do everything his way, in-house. Yeah. He wants to design it. He wants to machine it, prototype it. All right, guys, let's go in the cabin real quick so you guys can see what's going on in here. Welcome to the Reaper 47. Now, I don't think we showed this on the last video, but this is what our cabin looks like. All of our side paneling really helps you give a pretty finish. This is actually a queen size bed, so you have plenty of room. There's storage all underneath here. This flooring right here is Corian flooring. So what's crazy about it is if you get a wine stain on it or anything, you can actually wet sand this material. You can wet sand you that? You can wet sand it with 3,000, 2,000, and it still looks beautiful. It actually gives you that kind of dull, marbly look that some people like. And those those are actually cabinets right here that open yeah, and close? Yeah, so on the last boat, we had those, you know, typical little latches. We actually made new latches. All this was done in house. Nice. So you can't even see. The so all, all that is. stuff you made yourself. Yeah. And then and we have a head back here. We do. Now it's pretty tall in here, so you can be like over six feet something. And oh and, yeah, and my dad's big, and he was the one that designed it, so he wanted to be able to have that room. We can go into Reaper Two as well and take a look at that one, but it's pretty much the same. Reaper Two is a blue one. Yeah. All right, and we're gonna go in there now because I want you to see the difference, right? as far as how the boat looks okay um and then here is that turn these lights on. is there a panel there or oh, look so, so so this i could take it off but i don't want to take it oh, off yeah yeah but you can all this behind here access is to access to your rigging your steering nice all of this is your uh breaker Easy. panel so and if you really got to uh, pull this off to get into your wiring you can but we made it to where you it's a part of the boat you can see it because that's pretty important yeah, all this is trimming. But and I really love these corners. Uh, uh, well. you, you have a shower right yeah, here too. Yeah, overhead shower. That is awesome. Super oh, pretty. Okay, so let's go see Reaper 2. Show okay. the difference. Um, and uh, let's continue, guys. Yeah, We're let's here go. in Adrenaline. I told you guys this is going to get kind of wild. Wait for it. I think that's good. All right, get ready. <laughs> Okay, don't worry about it. We can throw them off. We got, we got, I mean, we got clout here. Yeah. We need to get on. Okay, you guys Yeah, um, on. sorry. Um, you gotta get off. I'm trying to take uh, care of our police. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so which one do you guys want? The green or the, or, or the yes. blue? Blue. The blue? Of course, blue. Have you blue. seen the, go over there and check out the other one before you make a decision, fellas. Blue. Trust me. Hey, blue. listen. What is their color, though? Yeah, they're blue, right? All right, well, listen. I'm all green. I'm team green. Team green. Team, team, what? I was going to give you a high five. Never mind. Okay. All right, guys. <laughs> Reaper 2, welcome aboard. Okay. So this one is verified 90. Yeah, this one is verified 90. We haven't done the speed run, like I said, on that. Because it's brand, brand new. It's brand new. Out the box. They literally came straight from the factory to the show. Yeah, Mike told me, he was like, yeah, I, yeah. <laughs> I drove it today for the first time. <laughs> He goes, did. I didn't want to hit, I didn't want to hit the motor that hard, so I took it only 60. The customer was on the boat with him. Nice. But he loved it. Well, how would he not love this? Look, okay, so, guys, I need you guys to comment below, team blue or team, team green. green. I love the blue, but I really love the green. So, so, Mike, can, come here. <laughs> All right, so you, you are the person who this monster lived in their head. This lived in your head for a long time. Can we get a sea trial on these? I don't know if you'll be able to keep up. Did you, did you just hear what he just said? What did he say? Did you hear what he just said? Huh? The last time somebody told me something like that, you know what happened over here at the, at the Pumpy Show? A motor fell off. And I kept up. <laughs> Kept up? I did keep up. I don't think our motors are going to fall. Well, listen, hey, when I'm on the boat, nothing is impossible. No. Mike, sea trial, maybe? Thank you, bro. Thank you so much. You know what makes your channel? Your narrative. 
Thank you so much. And, and look at this. She's trying to kill me over here, trying to, trying to show me additional areas. What are you doing? What are you doing? I didn't show you on that boat, so. You didn't show me on, all right guys, so look. Well, thank you so much. Hey, no problem, I watch, I watch the show all the time. Well, welcome, welcome to Adrenaline, that's right. That's and the chit show. My inlet's the point inlet. Oh, nice. Oh yeah. You, who knows, maybe I go film over there one day. You need to. <laughs> wait for it. Yeah, wait for it, yeah. <laughs> wait oh. for it. Yeah, so not only do you have great access to the back of the boat, but this seat lifts up so you can get to all your engine rigging and your thruster pump, everything, your bilge pump, so it's pretty easy to get down there. Okay, so this is this is where your dad says, "Leave me alone. I'm thinking of something." Oh, he said is, that. He's said that is, to me so many times. Is that, oh, I'm like, you gotta hurry up. <laughs> okay, but here, think about it. There's nothing like an amazing idea, and somebody is trying to steal your idea because <laughs> well, always, they say, "I want a Big Mac because I'm pregnant." And I. But what's crazy is he's always like his designs are always so much farther ahead of others. It's like once they do it keep is, up, it's like it, he's got something new. It in is, his head. it is, it is, it is. And guys, there's nothing like this. Like as far as the lines and how aggressive this boat looks, and and I, and I I can't wait to do the sea trial because it's yeah you're you're really gonna love it because you're gonna all this talk we talk you're gonna see why we talk it because the boat she's hyping so this up well. really I mean like. He's, I'm, I, he loved, he, my, my he God. put it on the water for the first time and smiled. I'm getting a little worried, I ain't even gonna lie. <laughs> Look, guys. <laughs> 90? It doesn't hit 90 yet, but I think it will. I'm gonna make it hit 90. We've only had it out twice. This one? It ran 89 the first day out. Okay, but, but that's 90, Mike. I mean. That's not, that's not 90, 90's like it. 91. I oh, saw oh, 90. Oh, okay. I was on the boat. All, all right, so listen. Maybe a flicker. <laughs> We're, okay, a flicker is a 90. I, that's, that's a I, listen, no, 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 no or, or, okay, okay, yeah. okay, okay. So, this is Reaper 3. How this many? This is Reaper 2. Reaper 2, that was Reaper 3. Right. Okay, so how many Reapers do you have in production and how long is it going to take somebody to get one? We have quite a few in production. Um, yeah, it's a good question. Kind of, yeah, there's a couple specs that are that are available in our production line. Uh, most of the production is about a year, a year, year to sixteen months out. Okay, so that can fluctuate. There's there's different variables, but but before two years, you can have a Reaper if you want at forty seven. Right. Monster. If you came to us right now, you could have one in a year. Okay, I saw that you guys have some boats that you guys shipped out to the Middle East. What the hell just happened there? That guy fell off of his board. <laughs> Dude, I thought it was a pelican. <laughs> I was like, that's a big ass pelican. Hey, listen, every time I hear a splash, I'm, I'm worried about the croc. I think he hit a manatee. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, you shouldn't have said that, Mike. <laughs> All right, so 16 months, more or less. A year. So, a year, a, a, okay, okay. Um, there's, there's, a, there's, a lot of, there's a lot of work going on this. So I did see on your, your Instagram that you guys have some of these that you shipped out. <laughs> And some adrenaline boats that you sent yeah. out to the Middle East. Yeah, we have some good, good customers in the Middle East. What, what, what a, what an event! What a, I saw your stories, guys. Yeah. Robin, yeah. tell them about your Middle East experience with it your was, customers. It was my royal tour. Excuse me. That was the, I was what? with one royal family in Dubai. Oh right. And with another royal family. In so you mean to tell me adrenaline, American-made adrenaline, is like no, royalty, space. like Alba showing right boats behind. and selling boats over there? Yeah, they, they, they he doesn't like come the this way. The they, they, they know what's the best. I agree. Listen, hey. let me get back to uh, baby bump over. Well, let's talk about baby bump here, right here, while we can. Let's have a family talk. <laughs> yeah. You want to? How sure. was how was your first? Oh, was my first, was my first reaction. Yeah, what was he your was first? He was pretty upset. Actually, oh, you'd, have to, you'd have to edit that. <laughs> he was pretty mad at me. He, I think it it was how are my boats gonna get built? <laughs> Listen. <laughs> <laughs> no, that, I yes, it was. That's what it who was, was about. I not gonna kill? <laughs> this is why. Listen, I want to film. I want to film the Georgia chit show for one week yes, in Georgia. Sure. The factory. You really should. There's a lot of drama. Uh, listen, of drama. it's it, but is isn't any real family that's not cookie cutter real <laughs> drama, right? There's, oh gosh, there's always yeah. a situation, and in the process of the situation, you build all this amazing. Amazing yeah, things. there's a there's a good outcome to it all. Yeah. So it so must be positive. In it's some all way. it's awesome because you guys are all still here. Yes. So Yeah, we're much, not dead. Much <laughs> Well listen. He hasn't killed me yet. Listen. Um 
We haven't finished this video yet. She's cute, she's cute pregnant. She's it's a very cute pregnant. Okay. okay. So and she has tons of energy. I've calmed down over the last five months. Okay, so <laughs> wait, a, we got a lot of ladies in the bunch, right? We're waiting on. Oh, so yes. she's having a girl. So we have that'll be our third granddaughter. We have eight girls. We have so another good. granddaughter on the way. I think. Yeah, so Caleb, Caleb's wife's pregnant. Madison's okay, pregnant. Yeah, Caleb. Okay, but we don't know what Caleb's wife has he's yet. Gonna, he's trying to be like, so me. listen. He's gonna have nothing but girls. Listen, well, listen, and what did you do? You made your girls go build boats. Yes, we built So what's the difference? Didn't make them. We have well, some pretty you said, girls. You, yes, you do have. And, and one of the things I enjoy about filming with Anna is that, like, they see a pretty girl and then, uh, then they don't know that all of a sudden Anna's there getting dirty with all the team. Yep. doing all the infusion and, and yeah. doing all the crazy stuff you ask her to do. So I started this business when her mom was pregnant with her. That would be me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're not just the assistant. No, <laughs> I'm the pregnant, I'm the pregnant one for a lot of Did you go to Disney while you were pregnant? Yeah, no, no, that's an inside joke, guys. She was, she was the carrier. Oh, okay. uh, <laughs> she was the carrier. And so Anna, when she was in kindergarten, first grade, she made me this little thing in class about her dad feels really strong. I'll have to show you when you come to my truck. Okay. I keep it I keep it up in my visor of my boat hauling truck. And I have for 20, well, 20 uh, 18 years. Oh, I'm 20, yeah. 30. Okay, well listen, we're gonna continue this. We're gonna go to your truck. I'm yeah, gonna go, go we're gonna away. do a sea trial. <laughs> we, we, you gotta look at the, we, when you see the sheet, you're probably gonna cry. It's, it's, I don't wanna it's cry. It's beautiful. Though. Oh, okay, Mike, we're gonna, we're, we'll be right back. All right, all right, all right, guys, we're back. Okay, so tell me, okay, so you wrote a letter to dad we're or school. The, we're still on the baby bump, I thought. We're, no, no, come on. It's an immaculate conception, supposedly. <laughs> don't, don't get started. It's going to be, guys, at the, at the end of the day, the adrenaline booth gets wild. Okay, okay, Mike, so tell me about, okay, so she, she said she did something in school. She did. She, she made a little uh, stick figure drawing and said, my dad builds really strong boats and he's somebody special and, and all this and so i've kept it in my truck ever since it's a stick figure though yeah it's like a little kindergarten you know art kindergarten it's like a, it's art like a, little a stick boat, figures like a little wow, and, and you've kept it there since it's every truck you know, every truck I a new truck i take that and i put it up it's like it's like my registration i put it up in the visor wow yeah. so so look and now she builds really strong boats now what are you going to tell your daughter when she writes or, or, or does a little drawing figure and says, my mom builds really strong boats. I don't know, she might come out and want to build boats. She's been around it the whole time. So <laughs> I haven't stopped, so. Okay, all right, well, we're gonna continue here um, because I need, her, I need her to sell boats, yes. okay? Yes. I need her to sell awesome boats. And we already know how long it's gonna take for them to make it, so. And when I go to the factory, I wanna see that Guys, wait for it. We're going to see that thing. I want to see, may, I don't know, maybe we turn it into an NFT. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> All right. All right, guys. Mike and Robin Layton over here, Palm Beach. Okay. That was so cute. I, it's hard It's hard to, to say everything bad we were talking about you earlier. I know. Okay. Go ahead. Continue. Okay. So Reaper 47 2. Yeah, this is the second Reaper. Okay. Um, this one's Blue. this yeah, this one's brand new as well. Like we we pretty much only ran it three times in the water. And he just said two, it. but well, uh, this might be the third time. I'm not trying to get you. Two Relax. or three? I don't know. Okay, like, okay. Two or three times. So he said ninety. Oh, uh, well, he you said eighty nine, but I could have swore I saw ninety. Okay. There was a flicker. It, it counts. Okay. Okay. If you go into Garmin and you log in the Garmin, your top speed is going to be ninety. Okay. So let's walk this one and let's just go around real quick. Okay. Because this is very similar. Same, yeah, same. It's, it's similar, uh, different colors. Um, Reaper, we have the, a couple more Reapers coming down the line. Uh, one's a little bit more classier. It's all white. You're going to have like that kind of teak flooring. So those guys that are a little bit more modest and don't want those colors that pop super loud, they'll probably really, really respond to that boat. Um, but what's crazy is these reapers all look so different with the different colors. Like it's they have crazy. A different feel, but it's the same boat. It is so crazy. It get boring. Okay. Um, same thing here. I love this. This thing must look so sick at night. Yeah, it I'm, really does. You you got to like come back when it's getting dark, and we can light it all up because it's an experience. Okay. So look. Let, why don't we do this? 
why don't we dress up like in police gear? We'll ask those cops, those guys from West Palm Beach, they look kind of cool. <laughs> We're going to say, listen, it's, it's, let us borrow your clothes for a little bit. Just let's chase somebody down. Yeah, we should. And let's fun. just see their response. I just want to see the reaction. The logo on the side even kind of looks like a police badge. So. Oh, but listen, I mean, if, if somebody in the in the world wanted you guys to like outfit this for like we could law enforcement you can we could and we were actually we're actually talking about doing a fishing version of this boat so we've had a lot of guys that get on this boat and they really love fishing like oh can you throw me a couple of rod holders so you can we're gonna go beyond that though we want to you know make our hard top a little bit skinnier and kind of build it out for fishing get some put some live wells in here and kind of change the configuration so that's in bit. the cards yes that's in the cards it's in process my dad's already started designing it nice so this one's a little bit more lit up um so you can kind of experience it a little bit more and but i feel the air in here as well yes now all these have optional sea keepers or is it standard or what's the goal what's the um it's optional you can get your sea keeper you can get a generator you can get an inverter it kind of depends on the customer but would you even need a sea keeper on something this beanie yeah i mean if you're if you are doing like long runs in the bahamas or if you're kind of offshore then you probably would want a sea keeper i love the fact that you have so much light in here it's crazy the reaper sink you can see that one really good that's all machined in house that is so wild no and the thing is that you guys are able to do everything yourselves right like yeah so we have everything. a five axis machine in house we have our Haas machine and we have an amazing engineering team and my dad that designs everything so basically comes out of his head goes into the cab world and then goes straight into the machines and we kind of We'll do it a couple of times, make sure we like it, fit it, prototype it, and then apply it to our builds. Um, so when you guys saw Reaper 1, we had some of that stuff going on. We were trying things out, but we also changed this uh, hinge system. Last one, it was a push button. We were having problems with it wanting to let go, so we actually made it with a handle, and it's been doing yeah. really awesome. And, and you guys all machined this here in-house as well? Yeah. Each one of these arms are machined differently and then they're bolted into these two fixtures here this door in particular is all carbon fiber um so we really put a lot of work into this door okay somebody says that's it i want it where are they going so if somebody came to me at this show right now who was like i want this boat today so this one might even be available it's our demo boat but Hey, listen, Everything. there's never there's <laughs> never a demo boat you can't buy. Yeah, no, so if somebody came up to us right now and was like, I want this boat today, like, I'm going to give you money, $1.92 million. $1.92 million. With the trailer. Okay, yeah. ready to go. So, okay, so we're talking about 90 mile per hour boat. Mm -hmm. I mean, you you guys haven't even broke this in. I mean, maybe on the, thir on the yeah. third, guys, if you're going to buy this boat, I'm sorry if I took it 90 miles an hour because I want to see trial this boat. Yeah, we're going to sea trial it because I feel like a lot of people are like, man, it looks really good, but I don't know if it performs no, like listen, they're saying it does. Listen, so we got to go out on we, in, the, in big water. We're not going to go out in the little, no, no, listen, in the little water. We got this. Yeah. We got, we're going to, we're going to take this thing and we're going to vroom, vroom, vroom it. And, uh, okay. Online, where can they, how can they reach you guys? So free us on TikTok, Instagram, adrenalinepowerboats.com is our website. Um, you guys can reach out and contact us there. Um, we have a ton of followers on TikTok. We've actually sold boats off of TikTok and Instagram. So we upload all of our content on there. So you guys check us out, reach out to us. We want you guys to interact with us. We want you guys to comment, email us, come to the show, come see us. We want to meet you guys. And next show, we'll see the baby over here. Yeah. Maybe, maybe, maybe yeah. next She'll makes, be here. makes uh, maybe in Miami, the next Miami show. Yeah. <laughs> Wait We're for planning on doing Miami. Okay, well, listen up, guys. I want to thank the Reaper family over here. American made, guys. Check them out. We're still going to have that family talk now off camera. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Wait for it. I'm about to make it seen as always. We're out of here, guys. Hey, don't forget to like and subscribe.